Hello guys, today let's discuss a structure of functions in your classes or Laravel code for solid code. And this comes from example from Laravel updates on Twitter, which I retweeted and then asked your opinion on whether you agree or not. And I received quite a few responses, like 50 replies or something. And in general, I've noticed that I quite like shooting the videos discussing why and not what. So not the syntax itself, but various pros and cons, opinions, different options, how to create the same thing. So this will be a video of that kind. And I will touch the same topic from different angles. So the example and the tip and the proposition from Laravel updates is this. Instead of having variable, boolean variable of true or false in your function, which then creates if else statement, you would better have two separate functions without any parameter of boolean true or false. So create file and create temporary file. And it's kind of debatable, that's why I retweeted it with my own comment, because then you have kind of repeating code in two different functions. What are other options to restructure this example to make it even better? And what are other options for different examples of structuring the functions? So I've recreated that example, and first thing I want to emphasize is named attributes available from PHP 8. So the problem, if you have any variable, any parameter, is for others to read the parameter values in the future. So for example, if you have temp false by default, then someone else, some other developer, calls that function with something txt true, and then someone else in the future comes here to read or debug that code, and it's not clear what that true actually does. So create file is clear, something txt value is clear, file name, but what is that true? And this temp is shown only by my PHP storm. So for example, if I do the same thing in Sublime, it would look like this, just create file. So what is that true for other developers? And this is a problem. But from PHP 8, we can specify the parameter name exactly like that, temp true. So my first tip, if you do have that parameter and you don't want to restructure anything, use named attributes for others in the future to understand what that parameter actually means. Next, we need to talk about solid principles. One of the solid principles, the first one, is about single responsibility. So in this case, this function is not with single responsibility because in this case, it's kind of a short version, but in reality, in addition to that touch, there may be like 10 lines of code and 10 lines of code in this block as well. So that's why this function has two responsibilities. And this is kind of a code smell, so to speak. And if we try to follow the solid rules, we do need to refactor that. And by the way, if you want to find out more about solid principles in Laravel, I have a separate course, Solid Code in Laravel. I will link that in the description below. Now, you would think that this simple example doesn't really need all those solid principles and architectural thinking, but those small examples are actually where you need to adapt the habits of structuring the code in a solid way, because then it would become a habit for you, which you will repeat then in more complex code structures. And as an example of not repeating the same code, but rather creating different functions, I want to show Laravel Media Library by Spati, and in their interacts with media trait, there are quite a lot of functions to add media, add a file. So there's general add media, then there's add media from request, add media from disk, add from media library request, then add multiple media from request, add all media from request, add media from URL, and others, add media from string. And of course, this example is not exactly the same because in some of those functions, they are totally different, but some of them may reuse other functions under the hood. So instead of creating one huge add media with a lot of parameters, they created separate functions, which then work under single responsibility principle. Now, if we go back to this example, there are two ways how to improve that specific example to be better. Both of them, both suggestions came from Twitter, and one of them was to have create file and temporary file separately, but to call create file from the temporary file. So instead of having touch here, we call this create file with all the full name here, like this, like this. So you have two functions, but one of them is calling another one. So we can totally delete that create file here. And we have two functions. Each of them has single responsibility. 
just one calls another one. And another suggestion was in this case, there's not much benefit to creating a temp file if the whole name is a string. So when you call the create file, you can pass just here, temp something or storage something or whatever the full name is passed to the function and then you don't need separate function or separate variables. Now, of course, we introduce then potential validation issue and even security issue. If you allow to put that path, whatever you want, then you need to make sure you need to validate that they don't pass something malicious or invalid if the folder exists and something like that. So yeah, these are general thoughts from the original tweet about restructuring the function into two functions. What do you think? How often do you have if else statements in one function, but rather would be better recreating them as separate functions? Let's discuss in the comments below. Subscribe to the channel to get daily videos. I'm still shooting them daily and see you guys in other videos.